Bangalore lies in the state Karnataka in the mid-south of India. With more than 8 million citizens, this city never sleeps. With a booming IT industry, it's not only one of India's commercial engines. A talented young generation of artists put this place firmly in the future for the Indian art scene. I guess it's the first time in India that someone's actually built a wall just so that it can be painted, you know, like, just so that graffiti artists can come and go crazy on it. And to handle such a wall, Sams and Sheikh invited two of the best street artists in the world starting with Mexican graphic designer Ricardo Gonzalez. Specializing in lettering, typography, and calligraphy, his combination of letter form and art is exceptional. With his own world-renowned and exclusive font, he's one of the most recognizable artists on the scene. Ricardo is teaming up with the bearded wizard, Ulas Hidor, India's most sought-after graffiti artist, famous for his unique style of painting. With extreme precision and passion, he transforms drab walls into beautiful canvases, narrating the stories of our ever-changing times. Hey guys. How's it going? What's up, Hello. Hello. Welcome, Thanks, bro. Welcome, yes, cool. sir. Yes, sir. How are you guys doing? This is a nice spot. Welcome. This is okay. the new wall. Been waiting for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> the thing that you would like to see in the wall is its transformation of the feeling which Anybody for that matter would come and skate here and then when everybody puts their hands together say, oh, what was that, you know, oh my god, can you do it again, you know, like that, that sense of feeling, we want that to be shared on the world. With the two-day deadline on their minds, the guys start painting right away. But when Ricardo is thickening his letters, Ulas notices that haste makes waste. I, I, it just came off. You missed two spots there. Wait. I, I went a little bit over, like, in the space. And, uh, like, on the right side, I need a little bit more. So I just, on the Y, I just extended a swoosh just to make it, like, balance. And then, based on that, like, we just, we, we can work, like, overlay his design on mine, mine on his. So it's patch, patch, and then start blending. So that's the way that the collaboration works. With collaboration and harmony alive and well, it looks like nothing can go wrong with the challenge. Well, almost nothing. Oh. After completing his letters, Ricardo is still far from finished and is hurrying to blend his words with Ulus's elements. The part of uh, adding kind of the lines, wavy lines, it's more, it was more about uh, combining the styles. So in order to combine both styles, you have to like have some sort of middle ground. So I found like those lines kind of bridge the gap in styles between like sharp corners and then fluid lines. So that's like the perfect way. I'm sort of worried about time because my mind went completely blank. I just wanted so many ideas to fill. And I was like, okay, so then I started limiting it myself down and like I cut up certain areas. So there was a little bit of stress. Do you want me to buff that? The black? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just this much. All right. Blue. And I think the rest of everything goes black. He finished off his work, like then he started to help me. I was like, wow, thank God, at last, like, okay, I can finish this piece in time. Summoning up the last of their energy, the guys are giving everything they've got to finish the piece on time. Yeah, but when you're just like do, trying to hurry it up and then you get like oh, oh, frustrated and go back, correct it again, yeah. Time's up. <laughs> ah, sweet, man. What do you guys think? Dream reality, I love it. 